Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7! Morning chocolate, here we come. On Elsa this morning. Don't worry, my counters are clean. I forgot to do it yesterday and it, w it was Elsa. And here's another Elsa. Yay. Come on, coffee brew. I totally slept in. Totally, we're not gonna have time for a workout this morning. That's okay. Which means I slept for almost 12 hours again. And you guys, Vlogmas is making me tired. Um, hi. I watched The Grinch last night and it was cute and I really liked it, but it also made me really miss Charlotte. Um, also, William, after we went out the other night, went home he said this to me yesterday, I think. He felt inspired and he went home and he recorded a tour of his house decor. So I'm going to insert that in here and now you have some more holiday festive fun to look at and you get to see William because he misses creating content. So I feel happy, I feel grateful to have such a good friend. And um, I think it's really cool. And thank you, William, for just being so cool about it and always being game to do something fun and uh, festive. So yay. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. Uh, I know this is Amanda's vlog, so I don't know what day she's going to put this. She may put this up. I'm not sure. But I want to show you my... Christmas uh, stuff. So uh, come along with me and I'll show you my house. <clears throat> Let's start with my room. This is a ornament my uh, an old friend of mine from Nova Scotia gave me the year I moved, the Christmas before I moved to Newfoundland, Labrador. It's a little coal I got for Christmas for being bad. A little Elvis. One of my snow globes mom gave me, another Elvis. This is new. I've just got this. My little doggy and a snowman's old one old ones. I got a Christmas uh, story bobble from uh, Ralphie in his bunny suits, which I have a lot more Christmas story stuff downstairs, so I'll show you later. And uh, Hagrid's up top there. And of course, uh, this is new, 2020, <laughs> the stay home year. And uh, Amanda's mom gave me this one. Similar to one she has in her openings. Yeah, that's so. very much my room. But I'll show you something ye cool once. Uh... So yeah, that is my uh, room. And I'll show you uh, the rest of the house now in a second. But first, show you the coolness. Oh, I'll show you that when I go outside. So the first thing. This is the first thing. The Grinch. So you always got to watch out for him. Um, my Aunt Carol store had this. And mom got my dad gave got this from my mom. And uh, yeah, so he watches the hall. Well, let's make ourselves way to the living room. There's Lucy. Hello, Lucy. We're going to end the series in a second. So here's the living room. And no globe I gave mom years ago. Little can or little like flannels, which are all about our thing. My sister gave my mom this this year. And our little wreath, which we had years. Another candle, which is last year. We moved our full furniture around in here this year. It's kind of cool. So now we can actually listen to Christmas music up here. This is uh, the city, street city, which my brother-in-law gave mom. Um, probably, I think every Christmas my, my sister and him were going out, I'm not sure. One of our many glowy trees and the sled and stuff I gave mom Christmas years ago as well. And a little village my uncle Ian gave us. We came with a tree and we have another one over here. Mom did all this. 
and of course the some of the decorations on the lights and of course the Christmas tree it's all glory but something new this year new this year it's a little loud I'm sorry we got a Polar Express Back in the station. <laughs> so yeah, that's our lovely Christmas tree again. Let me get a good shot. That's a uh, Raymond Star, which came from Hopedale. Um, so that is upstairs. We get the tree in the shot. There we go. Uh, that's uh, all upstairs. Now I'm going to show you the outside. And my dad did all the outside stuff. Mom did most of upstairs. I hoped a little bit. Mom mostly did most of it. None of us are always allowed to touch the tree, of course. <laughs> it's a joke in the family. Uh, and then so yeah. before we go outside, I'll show you quickly the stairs as I think you just saw this stocking my grandfather made my dad's dad So it's very old And there's the bell From the Polar Express it came with the train. So if you can hear it, that means you believe and hello everybody you can see me So now we'll go outside now one second. So so now we're outside and I'm gonna show you the front yard now so here's the front. My dad, as I said, worked really hard on this today. And this is one of the things we walked through. My beloved snowman, I got two, uh, it's probably three or four years now since I moved to this house. Um, yeah, and our old reindeer used to be in uh, New Brunswick, got this one. He's eating our plants. <laughs> oh, and there it is. That's the full house, what it looks like from the outside, from the front. And now I'll show you the back. So here's coming from the back. As you can see. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh, Dad put these lights up last year and we never taken them down, but uh, also we're going to keep the thing because out here we don't get as much lighting in the back, unfortunately, so. This is our solution to it. So that is it outside. Uh, now we're gonna show you the downstairs and uh, show you the rest of the, house, the tour. So the first thing you see is our glowy snowmen, or snow people, if you will. And our little countdown to Christmas, which is right now since I've been filming this. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's 19, it's kind of getting dull now over so many years, but it says 19 days, two hours, and 25 seconds, 25 minutes. 28 minutes. So we're gonna start on this side. So as you can see our lights, all around, all up. And as I said, a lot of Christmas stories are here. These are the like lamps mom gave me. Years ago, every year I almost get a Christmas card. This is my great grandfather's bow. My stocking, which my mom made. And my mom and dad's stocking. Little uh, flare thing I got at Piper's, I believe. Um, Fortune makes a lot of noise, but hey. Uh, one of my many Christmas stories ornaments on top here, as you can see. A Nutcracker. Uh, Star Wars, which is my mom's. Um, more Christmas story. The Teddy Bear Christmas. The church. There's carolers. Ralphie. I got this one last year. Ralphie holding his bunny. More of the Christmas lights, and and with that, I also got a leg lamp, <laughs> which is works. It's I uh, got it, uh, oh, three years ago now, I think. Mom and my brother got this at Bath and Beyond, I think, when they got it. And more lights up on the door frame. Now some cool stuff in the picture. A little tree we got last year. This is a new addition this year. I got this as home hardware, I got three of them. Uh, this is the truck going into the tunnel. This is the truck leaving the tunnel. That's a nice shot too, actually. And here's more lights going around. Our little mummers. And here's the train coming through. It's a very train theme this year. So for here is this a little snowman. A little uh, tea lights in it. One's starting to get dull, sorry about that. 
uh, some angel, some more glowy trees. I love glowy trees. Uh, fortunately, two of them not really working. They're just throwing red. And that one I think is doing the same now, but it's, um, yeah, unfortunately, it don't last too long. But oh no, it's changing colors. Never mind. Still doing that. Our old uh, counting tree when my dad made. We now we got these bulbs that mom got from Starbucks, and she'll use them as a chocolate tree for the for my nephew and niece, which is really cool. Little birdies, little birds. This reindeer here, uh, I gave. I don't know this one was my name or my mom, but I bought both of them the same type thing uh, one year, and uh, when they passed away, we got them. I got, and uh, yeah, and and these are my candles I got two years ago. Um. And one's starting to go, but yeah, they got them at the bucket too, so not too bad. And of course, more delights, as you can see. Let's give a good wide shot. This is the this is the family room, and that side. And finally, we come here. Where this was something Mom made, which was really I thought was really cool, and a little punker maker. And here is something I never know. I don't think you can see it. It's a uh, uh, the wise men going to see baby Jesus. And I never knew we had this. I thought I really thought this came with the house, but no, this is my dad's favorite picture. So put it up there this year. It's usually where uh, the truck one is, but we moved that. So yeah. So uh, thank you everyone for coming along my uh, Christmas uh, house tour, if you will. Uh, I hope you like it, and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching Manda's vlogs uh vlogmas i always like watching them every year i never know i i'm like the rest of you i never know what she's gonna be doing uh, i feel honored every time i'm able to be part of it so uh i wish everyone if i don't get to say it to anyone i wish everyone a merry christmas and a very safe happy new year in this time of COVID. and uh yeah hopefully see everyone in new year and i really hope i will start doing my own contact again in the new year so uh manda's job is to make sure i do that so manda it's up to you now <laughs> editing Amanda jumping in here because I just finished watching the um, house tour from William. Can we all, A, just hype him up in the comments because A, he really should be doing content again. I know he misses it. And B, we're going to call this vlog the one where William saves Vlogmas. So thank you, William, for bailing me out and um, providing some content for our lovely viewers. I really do appreciate it. You're a good friend. I do rely on you a lot. So thank you. Update time! We are home from work. I hope you enjoyed that edited little video that William put together for you guys. Um, so that brings me to my question of the day. What is your favorite piece of holiday decor that you own? That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Nope, that's my question. I'm going to show you mine because I can. I think it's my favorite piece. Today it is my favorite piece and it was the centerpiece of this year's Vlogmas intro. This ornament, for some reason, I don't know why it means the world to me, but it does. And I talk to Charlotte every day and it's essentially... I don't know. I feel like we have a really good bond and this was pro Christmas 2018 vlogmas 2018 ended up being one of my favorites because Charlotte was just so game to be a part of everything. So maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Lenny and Squiggy changed me for the better. I'll tell you that now. They made me a better people. But anyway, I've decided to take a little break this evening guys. I'm not going to vlog. I feel like when William offered to do his content, um, for me and send it along and edit it. I was like, oh my God, okay. I will save that for a day that I don't do a lot of vlogging. And then today, it was the kind of lunch day where um, my colleague didn't have a car, so I drove, which was fine. Her car was in for repairs, no biggie. She was, so I'm usually the routine is whoever's driving stays in the car and loops around the busy parking lots while the other one masks up and goes into the bank and goes into the post office. Usually I would take that opportunity to vlog. We get there, my colleague looks at me and she goes, forgot my wallet, forgot my keys, forgot my purse, forgot my mask. So then I had to do all the parking. Then I had to do everything. So I never got a chance to vlog. And then work was super busy. And admittedly, I would like to be in bed by 8 o'clock tonight. So I think I'm going to just end the vlog here for tonight. I'm sorry it was very mediocre. But thank you, William, for bringing the holiday content and making it a bit easier for me. Uh, we'll be back to regularly scheduled Vlogmas programming tomorrow. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Guys, we're a week into Vlogmas. Like how?